Hello drivers! In today's video, I wanted to address some of the comments I've seen on my latest videos, the one about the remote driver 1 plus 2 remastered version, and especially when I made comparison with the driver syndicate and the classic Miami add-on. So in this video, I want to share some uh, opinions that I have about the community opinions and how uh, we can act as a group, but uh, feel free to share in the comments your own opinions on the driver syndicate or the remastered project. And uh, in the background, uh, as you can see, I've made a comparison between the iOS version from 2009, the original uh, from uh, 1999, and the uh, classic Miami add-on in the driver syndicate. And in this case, I'm making a direct reference to my latest post where I compare uh, driver PlayStation 1 and the classic Miami add-on on the driver syndicate in a similar place. Uh, it's the bank job mission uh, when you go close to the escape location. And it got a lot of negative opinions in the comments and at the same time, a lot of likes. So it appears that the community may be divided on uh, what they want about a remaster version but at the moment it's more the people with negative opinions that are expressing themselves maybe as a vocal minority while the silent majority have not so in short it is not about censoring negative opinions but rather balancing it with more uh, positive ones from the community if uh, you feel like it so it's more balanced between negative and positive and all I want to say here for the people with negative opinions is that if you think that the driver syndicate is not what you will want of a remastered version and if the rumors of a remastered version are uh, true, let me say that you will be disappointed, I believe, because the expectation you have and the dream driver you have in your mind can never be met in practice. Let's remember the original driver games are products of the time. It means that they gave us unforgettable memories, but those moments cannot be perfectly recreated because we, as players, are also different now. Even if the remasters come as close as possible to the originals, the exact experience we had 25 years ago just cannot be replicated. And that's okay, these remasters are about honoring the legacy of the driver series while bringing it forward in a way that feels fresh for both old fans and new players. I know there are a lot of different opinions in the community about what these remasters should look like and that diversity of thought is fantastic. But if these rumors are confirmed, staying positive about the project is crucial. If we come in with open minds and realistic expectations, it helps the remasters have a better chance of success. Remember Driver San Francisco? The shift feature uh, sparked mixed reactions from the community, including myself, uh, which may have impacted the game's reception. Let's learn from that and give these potential remasters the support they deserve. After all, this will be the first driver project in over a decade. Think about that, it's a big deal. Whether or not the remasters meet every single hope we have, they represent a potential revival of a pre-loved series. So let's celebrate the fact that driver could be making a comeback and be open to whatever comes next. Share your thoughts on what you would love to see in these remasters. Are you ready to embrace a fresh take on a classic? Let's show our support and make sure these remasters get the attention and appreciation they deserve if they come to life. Finally, thanks to my redrivers, Vavadimation.com, French Contact, Nero Sims, Tenkona YouTube, Paul Danois, Mut, David Autosport, Denis Frontier, Ponyak, Joshua Bader, and Olanov. Thanks for your support, and you can also join the Redriver Club by clicking on the blue join button below the video. And in any case, see you soon, drivers.